Hey everybody, it's Kenneth Ramon here. And Momager from the Black Heart Strings. And today it is that time of year, you guys. Again, uh, the Black Friday movie sales are out. So I hear it's a little bit different this time around because uh, they uh, put out the movies at 6 a.m. we hear, right? Well, they probably had them out already before they closed the store. They're all closed yesterday. Yeah. Well, I Thursday, can't. So. I came a week ago, and the guy in the electronics department say that they're going to be out officially on actual Black Friday. So it's been a little bit different than uh, the other uh, years uh, ago, you know, because of COVID and stuff like that. They had them out like a week early. We're not so lucky this time around, but, you know, I couldn't get up at 6 a.m. to get down here, you know. Had a pretty bomb-ass Thanksgiving dinner. So uh, I got there. It's 10 a.m. right now. Let's see what they got, guys. But fingers crossed we get some awesome movies, some awesome titles. I want Top Gun Maverick. I want Super Mario Brothers. Let's go see if they're in there. Let's go, guys. All right. All right. Into Wally World we go. They already have built. They do? Gingerbread house. Oh, that's nice. Heck yeah, a little gingerbread action right there. I wanted to get a little video of the Grinch right there. You're a mean one. Where are you going, Heather? Getting food. Getting food? <laughs> Lunches. <laughs> All right, okay. So we got to do a little grocery shopping today before we see the movies. Fun, 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 fun. You can fun. do whatever you want. I'm just getting food. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the Black Friday stuff is all over here. I already got a group of people looking. In a traditional Black Friday manner, we can't get through. <laughs> we just want cat food. Hey Heather, look at that angry cat up there. He looks really mad. He's hungry. Hungry cat. Focus camera. Hungry, hungry kitties. Little donut shoes. They're cute. <laughs> Squishmallows. Got some Uggs. Mama Jer's favorite. She loves the Uggs. They're not even Uggs. <laughs> Boxer briefs, dude. Ten bucks. Boxer briefs. Coolio. Cozy up your life. Yeah. Hey, fill these. Fill them. This is what everybody wants for Christmas. Uh, I do. <laughs> Socks. Feel that. They're soft. Right? <laughs> Feel that. <laughs> Yeah, they are nice. Well, you know I love this color, so. Yeah. The checkerboard. Buffalo plaid. Buffalo plaid. There we go. Oh, I call it the checkerboard. But yeah. Lots and lots of socks and undies. And sweaters. Hoodies. Oh, $500 TV. Look how big that $500 TV. Nice. Is this where the movies are going to be? We're entering the electronics department. I don't think any of these are on sale. Yeah, I know. Usually they have like their own boxes for them. And last year they had them like over there where those TVs are. But I don't know. Maybe not. There's a box that says while supplies last, but those aren't movies. Those cell phone cases. That's a bad house. Yeah, it's hard to get through here. Can you imagine at 6 a.m.? No. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Alright, I might have to ask somebody. They keep going, maybe they're there. Oh, those are books, I think. Yeah, those are books. Alright, we need an employee. Go back in there and turn it off and ask something. Alrighty gang, well I asked a couple people that work here and they said they actually didn't get Black Friday movies in this year. <laughs> I'm just as puzzled as you, but uh, I'm just going to check online and see if I could get any deals online. 
But yeah, pretty crazy. It's still a madhouse here for Black Friday. We could barely get through this place. But uh, anyways, you guys, yeah, stay tuned. Is that a good deal? Nine bucks for how many? Oh, 38 piece set. Long lasting durability. Is it microwavable though? Let's see, microwave. Oh, resistant microwaving. Yeah, this is awesome. Hmm. I don't know how many get them right now. I don't know. What are yeah. they normally are, but I'm wondering. Yeah. I don't know, the last time I did like a Black Friday video, they told me that, you know, it would be in the electronics, the movies. So I'm just wondering if it's going to be up here in a random place up front. So we're going to take a look, guys. Bear with us. Take a look at Santa Claus in the meantime. Ho, 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 ho. Let me know in the comment section what you want for Christmas, what you want Santa to bring you. Well, gang, no movies, but they look a little woody. <laughs> but yeah, glad we didn't come at six today but yeah oh well alrighty gang well momager got her groceries uh, but yeah quite a bit of a bust today like really they didn't have any movies at all like and it, it could just be our like our town you know just not getting the shipments or whatever but I don't know man it just it kind of sucks I know some of you guys um, have been going to your Black Fridays at uh, Best Buy and not seeing any movies that you guys have been telling me it's the decline of physical media It might be maybe streaming's taking over. I don't know guys But I'm gonna look online to see if I could get any of the movies I wanted on there and see if they have any deals online and then maybe you know I'll get back with you guys and sh share with you guys what I picked up, but yeah pretty disappointing kind of sucks anyways guys uh, yeah, see you later. Uh, we're off to uh, Del Taco now. I mean, uh, we're trying to lift it up. Panda. I'm not yeah, yeah. Express. yeah, yeah, or Panda Express since it's like right over there. But yeah, trying to lift it up our spirits a little bit. But anyways, yeah. What, what did we say, Mama Jer? Peace out, Girl Scout. Peace out, Girl Scout. <laughs> Hey guys, well back here again in the Cruiser Bruiser. Uh, it's been a few days uh, since uh, that last footage of, that you guys saw from our little Black Friday adventure. <laughs> Very scarce, very scarce. There was really nothing there. And I was just super shocked that I saw there was no movies in person, you know, for uh, in-store shopping. There was no movies at all. They didn't have them. I asked the guy. He said, oh, no, we don't have any movies uh, today. Then I went um, to your guys' videos on YouTube. I went to Wet Movie One's video. I went to uh, Cool Duders video. Same crap, dude. I was like... These guys were actually just walking around like these guys actually got up early in the morning to be there at Black Friday right when the sale starts and then there's no movies. <laughs> I just I can't even imagine. It's a good thing we didn't wake up that early to uh, go. No. I know. I knew not to go. Early. <laughs> just, yeah, we would have wasted too old our for time. That. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. I ain't Anyways. got no time for that. Anyways, but I was legit crushed, okay? And I like you guys to know, you've been following my channel for a while. I look forward to this, and you guys look forward to watching these videos. But um, it just reminds me of when I was a kid, you know? I used to, it used to be like a tradition, you know, in high school where I would go every year, Black Friday sales, and just pick up a bunch of movies. Well, anyways, you guys, I was so crushed that I went online to see if at least they had, like, any specials online. Even there, there wasn't a great selection. I was just super, super bummed. But there was a few movies that I thought were worth it, you know, for the discounted prices. All right, guys, so I have one package. I have two packages. And I have three packages here. Uh, let's just see what I got, what I ended up picking up. Picking up, right? <laughs> yeah, so they had to deliver it to my house, which is, it's not the same, dude. I prefer actually going to the store and seeing what they got. And, and fighting with other customers. Yeah. You know. Yeah. The punching, the, the swearing, yeah. running over people's shopping carts. The good old days. Yeah, Black Friday madness. <laughs> you can't even call it Black Friday madness. It's Black Friday sadness, it feels like. <laughs> Anyways. All right, so in this box, you guys. I mean, I want to see if there's a receipt here so I can tell you guys how much they were. Actually, it doesn't tell me the prices, but I remember. I remember. All right. So, first up, you guys, I picked up Creed 2, which is um, 
One of my favorites. One of my favorite. Um, actually, no, this is not Creed 2. This is Creed 3. I actually have seen Creed 2. I have not seen Creed 3 yet. So I'm actually really, really excited for this because I'm a huge fan of like the Rocky franchise and uh, the Creed franchise. It's the first one without Sylvester Stallone. So we'll see how it is. I still haven't seen it. Wanted to see it in theaters. Just didn't get a moment to. But yeah, pretty cool. Had to pick that one up. This one's $7. And I believe all the movies here... Okay, except for one, but um, all, almost all the movies that I'm going to show you from this box are $7. This is a movie called Champions with Woody Harrelson. You heard about this one? No. It's actually really interesting. It's about um, this coach here that works uh, with kids with autism. And, um, you know, like, I kind of find myself identifying with it because, of like, you know, I've worked with kids with autism and things like that. So I thought it'd be cool to check out a movie about it. It says here it's a film by uh, Bobby Fairley, you know, from the Fairley Brothers. So that's cool, you know, the guys who made Dumb and Dumber and things like that. So, yeah, really cool. I'm really, really interested. It looks like some inspiring stuff right here. So, yeah, looking forward to that one. And then here's another $7 movie. I, I did see this in theater. Some of you guys watched the video on it, my little review. But I was pleasantly surprised by Megan. You know, a lot of people didn't know what to think about this movie. And um, I thought it was like a mixture of like scary stuff, um, you know, science fiction. And like it's also action packed. So I really had to pick this one up. And it comes with both versions, the unrated version which uh, has like more gore and stuff in it i still haven't seen that one and the theatrical uh, pg-13 cut so yeah really cool really cool uh, to add that to the collection yep and um in this box i also picked this one up this is actually my first 4k that i've ever bought in. but um yeah super mario brothers peach actually yeah, our little guy fell do you see him anywhere I, I'll them. Okay, okay. I keep this in my car. So I actually found this in the thrift store. I think you guys saw it in another video I made. But yeah, pretty cool. I still have them. I still have Bowser here. It's cool. Halloween came and no trick-or-treaters wearing Bowser costumes. I saw lots of Mario, Luigi. I just, poor Bowser. He's so left out. But he's my favorite guy right there. So yeah, I definitely had to pick up this movie for sure. And you guys could see like my full-blown review with my friend Robbie. We did one uh, when it first came out in theaters. But yep, yeah, really cool. That one wasn't seven though. This one was not seven. Thanks for catching that, Momager. Um, this one, I forgot how much. I think it was ten. Yeah, this one was ten dollars. But yeah, for $10 for a Blu-ray 4K uh, combo pack, you just can't go wrong. Um, so yeah, guys, um, I think this is like the latest one that came in the mail. But uh, yeah, so I also got, this one's a Blu-ray. I see it right now. I'm pulling it out for you guys. Hopefully I don't destroy the packaging. Ooh, it's like super glued in there. But yeah, I um, remember watching this in theater, Momager. Yeah. We got Barbie here, and I had to pick this up. I know you guys are like, Barbie, seriously, Ken? But no, I actually really did enjoy this one. And what was your thoughts on it? I love it, because I like Barbie. Uh, the bitch has everything. <laughs> I want to be like Barbie. <laughs> yeah. The bitch has everything. There you go. There, there you go. She said it all. But uh, anyways, I actually really, really was pleasantly surprised by this. Um. It's a really good uh, female empowerment type of movie. Some people love it. Some people really, really hate it. Um, I just happen to be one of the people that actually really loved it. So, um, yeah, I, I recommend you guys check it out, too. I thought Margot Robbie was perfect casting. Ryan Gosling as Ken was hilarious. He kind of looks like Fred from Scooby-Doo there. So, anyways. Um, but, yeah, I actually really like this packaging. looks really cool. Then when you pull it out, it looks like that. But yeah, cool to have the slip case with it. That's another $10 purchase right there. And we got one more box, guys. And I still haven't opened it. Oh. No. Oh. Drum roll. Can you do the drum roll sounds? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Oh, actually, guys, before I get to this final one, I just want to say thank you so much for watching my videos and all your continued support throughout the years. Give this video a thumbs up if you like what you see so far. If you're new to the channel, uh, please consider subscribing. Really do appreciate all the support. Thank you guys so freaking much. Anyways, you guys, 
So, um, I picked up this movie because my dad still hadn't seen it, and I actually went to the movie premiere here in Ridgecrest, California, where they actually filmed a lot of the scenes. Uh, her daughter actually worked on set, got to meet Tom Cruise and stuff like that. You want to share a little bit about that? My daughter um, was a police officer on base, and so she had to work the front gate to let the people in, and Tom Cruise was being driven in by his driver, and she's bent down, and he said hi to her, and then that same day ironically she ended up with a very 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 nice expensive lunch sent, <laughs> sent to the booth that she was in yeah by the film crew so i'm having a feeling that tom might have had Ooh. some input on that i don't know for sure but she thought maybe tom had an input on it because he smiled at her and said hi how are you doing and so yeah she got to meet tom cruise and got a nice lunch out of it and then nice. over the weekend she got to guard um the actual uh, maverick jet nice. that was on base in the hangar she got to sit there and work she got to guard it so it's kind of cool she was excited about that but yeah yeah thanks for sharing that mom and you're really really cool but um yeah so i went to the movie premiere i thought it was really cool because you know every so often you get like you know big big you know big um box office franchise hits that are filmed here in ridgecrest california you know planet of the apes being one of them and a, a whole bunch of other movies but um dog was filmed here yeah. with um Channing Tatum and uh, what else? Uh, Land of the Lost Land with of the Lost. Will Ferrell was filmed here. Holes too, right? Yeah, that was filmed out here. Dinosaur, Dizzy's Dinosaur was filmed out here and so was um, two of Lady Gaga's uh, videos. Yeah. The one from Top Gun was filmed here and then the one um, what Ooh, was it called? Son? There was the one where she's in like a red suit. Something Love. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. I'm just. I can't remember it, but it was filmed out at the Pinnacles, which is here and close to Ridgecrest. But yeah, yeah really, really cool. And yeah. uh, Iron Man, the, oh, yeah. the beginning of Iron Man was also filmed out here. But yeah, it was, like really cool and like, like very. Uh, so often you'll get like an actual movie premiere here, and you guys could check out my video on that too if you want. Just you know, type in Top Gun movie premiere, Kenneth Ramon, and you'll see how awesome it was. But <coughs> I always wanted a hard copy of the movie. You know, so really, really cool. My dad hasn't seen it. Um, Top Gun Maverick, baby. Check that out. So really cool to have an actual physical copy. Now, this wasn't actually um, in the, like, advertising of the Black Friday um, online sales. I actually had to search this one up. But um, in person, this movie was $20. Um, I believe I got it for 12 So, um you know, I mean, it's still like a bit of a discount, you know, not as much as those movies right there, but really, really cool. So happy to finally have this movie in my collection. Well, anyways, you guys, I hope you still enjoyed this video. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep doing Black Friday movie sales. I mean, because look, guys, I mean, you guys saw my videos before. I used to have like stacks and stacks of movies, but let's see, I have one, two, three, Four, five, six. I have six this time. There was times where, like, I would, like, have 15 movies. I'm no. not kidding you. <laughs> so, yeah. anyways, yeah, I have a bit of a problem, as you can tell. But, anyways, uh, and these, these guys that watch my channel, they do, too. Yeah. So, <laughs> all right, my fellow movie collectors, uh, let me know if, um, in your location, at your Walmarts or Best Buys, if you um, had like any sales in person or if you had to resort to online shopping uh, this year and just uh, let me know if you picked up anything cool in your collection. I'd love to hear about it in the comment section. Well, anyways, you guys, Kenneth Ramon. And Momager Heather. Signing off. Bang. Peace out. Peace out, Girl Scout.